Welcome to Mettler Toledo's how-to video series. In this video, we will show you how to archive and purge data with Star E software. A growing database requires continuous maintenance, and disk space needs to be freed up periodically to prevent the system from crashing or becoming unresponsive. The data purge functionality in Star E software helps to reduce the cost and risk of uncontrolled database growth, thereby minimizing its impact on operations and application performance. Data is essentially purged from the working database, but is safely stored in an archive. Unlike a working database, archives are performed offline in Star E software. They serve as repositories for the long-term preservation of data and are required for regulatory compliance and the retrieval of data during audits. Star E software can also perform regular manual or automated backups for enhanced data security and quick data recovery. A backup is a copy of a set of data, while an archive holds original data that has been removed from its original location. Data archiving provides several features and benefits. First, yearly archiving is necessary for meeting regulatory requirements allowing data to be easily retrieved for audit purposes. The purge function in Star E software allows you to select specific data to be deleted. This reduces database size without removing required data from the working database, such as user accounts. And finally, daily automatic data backup prevents data loss in the case of unwanted deletion or system failure. In this video, I will show you how to archive and purge data in Star E software. Mettler Toledo recommends yearly archiving of the working database. For this, you need to perform the following steps. Back up your existing database. For example, DB2019. Load backup as an archived database. Rename the working database to DB2020. Purge unnecessary data from the working database. Start by logging into Star E software. For this operation, the user must have administrator rights. Next, perform an offline backup of the working database, which is recommended for yearly archiving. Star E software offers powerful data backup, recovery, and archiving capability. The procedure for performing online and offline database backups is explained in a separate how-to video linked in the description box below. Once the backup is complete, load it as an archived database in the system. Archived electronic records are in read-only format, so they cannot be altered. To load an archived database, click Load Archive Database, which can be found under the Database tab on the main menu bar. The Load Archive Database dialog box will appear. Under Source, select the source from which you want to load the database. Click OK to load the database. The database is now loaded as an archived database. It is possible to change the name of a working database, but not an archived database. To rename a working database, close all inactive windows and main menu bars on all client systems connected to the server except the main menu bar from which the rename operation is to be performed. Select the Database tab on the main menu bar and click Rename. The Change Database Name dialog box will appear, displaying the current database name. Enter the new name of the working database and click OK. You have now renamed the working database. Now that your archived database has been created and safely stored, you can free up space on the working database using the Purge database functionality. Under the Database tab, click Purge. The Purge database dialog box will appear. Under Filter, specify a time period using the date range fields. Only records created in this time period will be deleted. Next, select the type of records you would like to delete and click Purge. 
In line with regulatory requirements, the date from field does not apply for analysis audit trail entries. This means that all data records older than the date specified in the date to field will be deleted. The number of purged items for each record type is shown under Number of records to purge. After clicking purge, a warning message will appear asking you to confirm the purge action. Click Yes to start the purge operation. Note that dependencies exist for specific types of records. On deletion of a particular record, other dependent records will also be deleted. In such cases, no warning message is displayed. For example, if a curve is deleted, evaluations performed on the curve are also automatically deleted. Experiments belonging to purged curves are also deleted unless also used to measure curves that were not purged from the database. Statistic templates removed will also include the statistical evaluations performed on the data. Therefore, it is best to perform a backup of the new database in case this needs to be cross-checked against the full set of archived data. Click Yes to start the purge operation. You have now successfully archived and purged data with Star -E Software. For more thermal analysis related how to videos, please go to www.mt.com forward slash TA hyphen videos. Thank you for watching.